If your Memorial Day weekend plans include a barbecue, yeah, you're going to have to kind of fork over a few more bucks just to cook up those burgers. A few weeks ago, we told you about a warning from a major supplier that the meat supply could be impacted. Tonight, Whitney Clark gives us an inside look at how it's affecting restaurants here in the Valley. The most popular thing on the menu here at Honey Bear's Barbecue in Phoenix is the pulled pork. Now, the owner tells me that there are a few hundred pounds of meat sitting just right here. They'll go through this in just a few days. That's what makes owner Mark Smith a busy man. Well, I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. By 7, I'm hitting the stores. And before I open, I'm pretty much done found everything that I need. Honey Bear's Barbecue on Van Buren is one of two locations in the valley. Mark has been smoking meat for nearly 34 years and has never experienced anything quite like the coronavirus pandemic. To find meat in different products, it, uh, it might take me uh, 200 miles a day. One time just to find some ribs, it took me 65 miles. It's not a lack of meat in the U.S. The issue is disruptions to the supply chain, higher demand, and major processing plants slowed or shut down because of workers getting sick. Certain places that the prices have doubled. I mean, the beef brisket, well, I was two, three weeks ago, I was paying 248, now it's 568. Pork, I was paying 118, now it's 268. That means some menu prices are going up. $2 more for a pound of brisket. Arizona's family spoke to the president of the Arizona Restaurant Association, who says it hasn't impacted their restaurants in a detrimental way quite yet. Many are already scaling back menus because they're not operating at full capacity. And while we've seen a ripple effect, we haven't seen it devastating Arizona yet. But my concern again is if this continues too well into the future, we're going to really have a problem on our hands. Meanwhile, Mark is hopeful. What he does is deeply personal. So I started working in restaurant business when I was nine years old. Back at Cedar Rapids, Iowa, my cousin had a fish market, and they used to have me come in and scrub the floors. And then by the time I was 14, I was cooking hamburgers. <laughs> oh, baby. The dining room just reopened as the barbecue spot moves slowly and cautiously ahead. In Phoenix, for Arizona's family, I'm Whitney Clark.